Hey, what's up everyone? This is Snoo. Today I want to bring to your attention a tool that I've been using uh, that has really helped elevate my game, helping me make a boatload of currency, a tool that it dramatically increases efficiency of farming. Uh, depending on what you're using it for, it has to do with maps, how maps are rolled, identifying specific modifiers on maps, maybe uh, a baseline pack size or quantity, basically looking at premium maps only, whether you want to run them, sell them, or even buy them using a secondary tool, which I'll talk about in a moment. Uh, this is what I've been using a lot lately, and it is going to be followed by a 100 maps farming session that is going to feature uh, me farming for profit certain kinds of maps that are going to sell for much more than their default value on trade. Of course, the trade site, uh, you can search up maps if you want to. You know, Crimson Temple, very popular map. I can go in here and I can say, well, you know, I want a tier 16 Crimson Temple map. And, and you know, this this is it. This is what, this is as far as it goes for a lot of people, what they know. You can see it's worth about four chaos a piece. You know, some people are aware that there's a bulk selling function and they can do it this way. They can go down here and search T16s, and this is a little bit better, right? Because you can go in and you can search for a minimum stock, and then you can, I guess, uh, maybe say you want to pay Chaos, not Divine Orbs. Go back down, you can see not very friendly, got to do a whole bunch of scrolling, and I don't know, maybe I want to buy, you know, 20 Crimson Temple maps for 80 Chaos, and I can message this guy. Maybe he'll respond, maybe not. Uh, but that's about the extent of what you can do within the game. So tools are, are developed, of course, uh, from regular players like you and me to help improve uh, our gaming experience, and this is one such tool. So you can see here, it says it's Path of Exile Regex, and this allows us to create a string uh, for a search function, and we can do all kinds of different things. Let's say I don't want to run maps that have reflect. You know, that's going to be a common outcome for a lot of players. Now, I don't have to go through and sift with a fine-tooth comb every single map, which ones have reflect, and then sometimes miss it anyway and brick my map. No, I don't have to do that. I can never make a mistake uh, when using this tool because it just highlights which ones are good to go and which which ones are not you can see there's a few maps that do have reflect but most of the maps are perfectly fine in there but this of course allows us to go above and beyond to search for certain maps that have all kinds of different parameters let's say i don't want reflect and i and i really need leech as a recovery and i want the map to be a little easier than normal with no minus maximum all res now that is pretty restrictive right but i can go in here and i can see well the maps in the gray they have at least one of those mods, but all of these that are highlighted have none of those four mods, which means in the particular case of me and my build and what I'm looking for in a map uh, that's good to go, uh, this passes my test, and maybe I'm going to run these maps uh, for that reason. Now, these are all 8-mod corrupted maps, so you cannot re-roll them, but you might use this just to, when you're rolling maps. You might just set a string down here and just constantly roll maps. Uh, this can be really useful, especially if you're trying to roll uh, premium pack size, I don't know, 6 modded maps, for example, which could be uh, done right here. Let's say you wanted like 30 pack size plus, you could do that. In the case of 8 mod corrupted maps, uh, a really good one would be, I don't know, say pack size 44 plus. So we could go in here and we can kind of see which maps qualify under that parameter, right? Maybe I want that pack size plus all of those other things I mentioned. Now I'm being really, really restrictive here. Uh, but apparently, <laughs> there are a few that in fact came up so that is pretty interesting how high does the pack size go in this game i don't know i mean i got a lot of maps here are there any that are 48 pack size plus i don't know those are pretty rare let's see wow a couple of them here 49 48 that's pretty that's fa that's fabulous right there <laughs> you able to see that so that's just for you know trying to restrict the maps or the mods like with by pack size or modifiers I don't want to run. What about modifiers I do want to run? Well, let's say I'm, I got a whole bunch of maps and I want to see the beyond maps. Well, there they are They're right there. Can I combine all three of these things at once? You know, 42 pack size beyond, um, I don't know. Let's say in my build, I need to have elemental ailments on the enemies. Let's say, uh, I don't want that wandering, wandering path. I don't want 96% less recovery rate of life and yeah maybe that is a good setup okay oh one second oh i can't run it right 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 i forgot uh sometimes if you're too restrictive 
it will the string will be too long and so you're gonna have to remove something okay I removed uh, the minus max res and then voila this worked out and then maybe I do check for minus max res manually here but you can see that was very restrictive search and it still found a few of them that passed the test so this can be, again very useful uh, for really pinpointing and, and extremely good in the beginning of the game whenever we have weaker characters and really don't want to be running just any and every map we really can't afford to be bricking maps or just starting uh, to invest in our map it can be quite painful uh, so being uh, very precise in how we check the maps can be really useful now I mentioned earlier you can even go so far as to like buy and sell maps like this well to do that you're not going to use the trade site here we're going to use tft because this is where people go to do all kinds of different uh services service functionalities bulk trading bulk selling bulk buying this is where people go to do those things i use it a lot for uh purchasing compasses i use it a lot for uh selling heist materials or you know selling the entire scarab tab all at once uh, but what i've been using it for recently that I really didn't use until this league is bulk selling eight mod corrupted maps. And you can see I just typed in uh, something here. Want to sell eight mod corrupted maps. Uh, I have a stockpile of maps there in this tab here, which uh, I forgot my uh, <laughs> Crimson Temple stockpile is down to almost nothing now. You can see it's kind of active. And if I want to sell random eight mod corrupted maps, people are going to pay 10 chaos a piece, which they do very willingly. And if, if people want to be able to check through a re, re, sorry, regex, then they have to uh, pay extra for that. Now, how do they give me their regex string? Uh, string? Well, if we check my <laughs> message history, uh, we can see that uh, people have been messaging me their regex string. And look at my history here. This is what it says. People wanting to buy the maps. And so I've been doing this the past day or two. And I'm just constantly getting message people willing to pay, ten, you know, 10 chaos apiece randomly. They'll just message me in game for that. Uh, if they want the premium map rolls, they open the regex system themselves. And then they copy the string and send it to me in Discord. And then I will sell those maps for 14 or 15 chaos, a very premium price. And they're just flying off the shelf. I mean, you can see here, I'm getting tons and tons of messages. It's not even counting the people uh, here who I have uh, already responded to. So that should prove to you <laughs> in pretty solid fashion that this is a very useful tool for a wide variety of different things, whether it's just for your personal use or for buying and selling. If you're wondering where all these 8-mod corrupted maps came from, it involves a strategy. Again, I will be coming out with a 100-map farming session featuring uh, this farm for profit. Maps found in your maps are corrupted with 8 modifiers. Uh, massive over-sustain of these maps and again, being able to sell people already you already understand selling maps for four or five chaos is not bad like that's a decent uh, value there being able to get that much currency just from random over sustained map being able to sell it for 10 chaos that's more than double being able to sell it for 14 or 15 that's triple you know when we're people go so far as to uh, request premium maps so a huge amount of currency available to be made and i can't wait to bring that uh 100 map farming session to you but this was sort of the prelude video uh just to demonstrate to you what's going on and you know i wasn't able to show an actual trade in progress but you could see through the discord history there <laughs> message history it's absolutely happening and uh, we're just going to leave it there if you have any questions let me know in the comments i will happy to answer them best i can look forward to that farming video it's going to be a real big one a good one for the community. And on that note, we'll see you next time. Bye for now.